Who's ready for some fish and sauce? I know I am. This delicious recipe was based on my husband's Haitian family. I also made some black rice along with crab in it. The recipe for this is on my YouTube channel. I'll put that on the description box, so make sure you subscribe. So let's get into these ingredients. We got seafood seasoning here. We also have the Maggie fish season. I like to use this, but not too much. I am also using some adobo all-purpose seasoning and just remember those are for snapper over here I got my fresh seasonings I have half of a chicken bouillon cube an onion red pepper green pepper thyme and also some scallion and over here I have four snapper along with some tomato paste now the first thing you want to do is make sure your fish is scored Oh, I also have a quarter cup of corn oil. So the first thing I did was score the fish. I did that by putting slits on either side and I just sprinkled a teaspoon of each seasoning on each side. You always wanna make sure you put the seasoning on both sides and also open up that fish and make sure the seasoning gets on the inside cause that's really where the flavor resides. So once you do all of that, I just really love, by the way, I love this seafood seasoning by Jamaican Choice. If you can't find it, I'm gonna put the link in the description box for you, but I use it on fish all the time. So what I'm doing right here is just massaging the seasonings all into the fish to make sure they're evenly distributed and I'm going to repeat the process on all four fish. The next thing you wanna do now is grab a nice pot, set it on medium and add your oil. Give it like maybe two to three minutes to warm up and I am going to go in with a spoonful of my green seasoning. Of course, I'll put the recipe for that in the description box. The next thing you wanna do is start sauteing this. When you fry the seasoning or the Haitian epis, as it's called, what you're really doing is bringing out all of the flavor. Toasted epis taste way better, I'm telling you. The next thing you wanna do is grab a spoon. Of course, it's so hard to get that tomato paste off of the spoon, but put two spoons of the tomato paste in there. I didn't really measure it out, I just eyeballed it. But as you can see, I didn't really use too much. And this is gonna serve as the basis of our sauce. The next thing you wanna do is go ahead and drop in your onions, your scallion, your peppers, and give that a good saute for about 30 to 60 seconds because what you really wanna do is enhance the flavor of these fresh seasonings. Make sure they're well blended and smash up that chicken bouillon cube because it's going to give it some really good flavor. The next thing you're going to do is add all those seasonings. Remember the seasonings we just put on the fish? Put those seasonings back into the pot at this moment. You just need a teaspoon of each, I promise you. Don't OD or else it's going to be too salty because the fish is already seasoned. So right here, I just get my wooden spoon and I saute the seasonings along with um, our fresh seasonings, our onions, our pepper, thyme, scallion, and just make sure you really get a good sear on this because it's going to definitely bring a lot more depth of flavor. The next thing you wanna do is add about two cups of water to this dish. It's going to look really oily at first, but once you add the fish and it starts to boil, the oil will assist the fish in cooking and it won't look so oily. So I know it looks oily right now, but I promise you the dish will not be oily. I just threw in a few shrimp in there because I had some left over and I didn't want it to go to waste. So you're welcome to repeat those seasonings on about half a pound of fish, but use only half a teaspoon. So put this in there, cover it and steam it for about 20 to 25 minutes and you are ready to go. You might wanna take the shrimp out a little bit earlier so it doesn't get overcooked. The shrimp is usually ready in about 10 minutes, so don't overcook the shrimp. But the fish, for sure, definitely needs to cook for about 20 minutes. Pour some gravy on top. Yes, let's admire our Diriac Jean Jean with the crab in it, and that is dinner. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe for a lot more delicious recipes.